JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is back. All right, listen, guys, I'm gonna say this for one last time. I don't hate boot camps, but I do believe that if you're somebody who wants to become a developer and you have the passion for it, and you say, hey, I woke up today, I want to do this thing, and for the next, you know, next few weeks, the next months, I'm going to dedicate myself three to five hours a day to do this so I could learn and better myself. I think that you could do it because I did it. There's a lot of people who, who's done it before. 90% of the people who are here on YouTube have done it by themselves. Pretty much like they've learned on their own. Even people who are promoting boot camps, they could actually, they actually tell you like, hey, I didn't go to a boot camp. I learned this on my own. So that's where I have a problem with it. Where it's like, what makes them different? What makes me different than you? Meaning, why do you need to spend $20,000 on something that you could learn on your own? If you really want to become a developer, go ahead. Just take the courses that I tell you or go search online, find somebody, you know, that can teach you a better way or give you better resources than me. It doesn't have to be coming directly from me. You could go to somebody else and listen to what they got to say. Listen to, uh, you know, John Samez or, you know, Chris Sean. He did Team Treehouse. You got, um, who, who else? You got this other guy, Chris Hawks. You got Aaron and Beta. He actually went to a, a boot camp. But at the same time, he's giving you a, a a good feel of how it works, right, for him. Now, for me, I personally think that you don't need to go to a boot camp. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to. Because if you really want this, you could just go. You know, it's like going to the gym. I always bring this up. If you want to lose weight, you're going to go to the gym and work out. Those people that are, are buffed up and the, the guys that are coming in there like that, they didn't have no no person to go in there and hold their hand and be like, hey man, this is how you, you lift your bars and this is how, how much you got to put in, this is what you got to eat. No, those guys just went all out. Started hitting the gym every single day. If you ask each one of them, they tell you, hey, I didn't have a trainer. I just came to the gym and started working out. It's that simple. It's the same thing as you know learning how to code, learning how to become a web developer. You just have to go in start coding start looking stop looking for this you know this answers of man who who's out here going to give me the answers to to do this who's going to give me the magic trick what instructors is going to give me the little sprinkle on my code to help me out who who has the best you know uh, placement of like boot camps man you don't need a placement like you don't need a, uh, to spend twenty thousand dollars into a boot camp just because of their connections to get you into a job. Do you understand that most of those people, they also look on Indeed.com. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, I think it's uh, freaking Dice.com. Sorry. I'm trying to remember. This one that specializes. Hire.com. Like, they go directly to Hire.com and say, hey, we just got some graduates. Do you have anything that fits in for them? Like, you could do that yourself. So it's like you're paying $20,000 for somebody to come and teach you the basics of HTML, basics of CSS, basics of JavaScript, basics of Node.js, or even the basics of Ruby on Rails. Some places they're still teaching Ruby on Rails, right? So it's like now you're getting yourself in debt for $20,000, right? Now, let's do it like this. If you're very privileged in this world where you say, hey, I got $20,000 in my bank account. Go ahead. I maybe I would do it too. Maybe I would go to a boot camp and if I had twenty thousand dollars to throw away in the air like that. And I'm like, huh? You know what? I could have wasted this money in college doing, you know, like philosophy. So fuck it. I was gonna spend two hundred thousand, but now I'm just gonna spend twenty thousand. And it's like it makes sense for those people. It makes sense, right? Or you know, somebody who is already a, a working person, meaning like, hey, they already have a career. They were successful there and they say hey I got fifty thousand dollars saved right I got enough to pay off my 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 rent pay off my car pay everything that I need to pay and I have an extra twenty thousand dollars you know what I'm gonna do a career switch a boot camp might work perfect for you because you have money in your pocket to go and you know 
throw it away in reality because you just don't want to do it yourself, right? So, to those people, it could work. It could actually be good. But to somebody who doesn't have anything, if you're starting from zero and you're saying, hey, right now my bank account is like negative or right now my bank account has my rent and that's it, I wouldn't advise you to go in there and start negative when you could have just done, done this like by yourself. Like you don't need nobody else to come in and hold your hand and be like, hey man, here, now you're a developer. For stuff that you could have learned in your house on your own time, like it, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Just because, just to ask questions. Some people tell me, hey, oh yeah, the best thing about boot camps is that, you know, you go in and, you know, you talk to the instructor and the instructor tells you, you know, he helps you out whenever you're stuck. And it's like, wait, isn't that what we all do when we're stuck and we just go to Stack Overflow? Or isn't that what we just do when we go on Google or even the Team Treehouse Forum or any of those places or even on YouTube, on the comments? Isn't that what normal developers do? So why is it that so hard for you to think like, hey, I can't do this by myself. I'm just going to spend money, $20,000 to get a shortcut. And in reality, it's not a shortcut. You're just paying a premium for something that's free or something that's going to cost you $20. It's like Chris Sean. Chris Sean, you know, he became a developer because he, he took um, Team Treehouse courses, right? And he spent only like $75. Me, I probably spent around that same thing on Udemy. You know what I mean? So just on courses. So it's like, why would I tell you, hey, go to a boot camp? It's like, there's nothing special about me. There's nothing special about other developers that do it by themselves. There's nothing special about it. Like, I'm being honest. Like, there's no magic trick. There's no little thing that you sprinkle on it. And you're like, oh, yeah, this person is going to be able to become a developer because he sprinkled some shit on it. No. <laughs> Guys, nobody needs an instructor. You don't need somebody to come in here and hold your hand. And tell you, hey man, you got to stick in this room from, you know, from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon working on, on code. No, you can do that in your house. All you have to do is just basically there's a whole bunch of courses that take you from 0 to 100. Meaning everything from the beginning of HTML to the end of like a full stack framework. You know, something like Node.js, Express, um, Laravel. This shit here on YouTube that... You know, you don't need to pay somebody else to be like, hey, give me a project. It's like I look at, at things like, uh, what is it, Udacity. Udacity charges people $200 or something like that or more a month just to tell the people like, hey, here's the project you got to do today. Like, I, I could tell you that. I've told people millions of times what they got to do. You create a real estate. You create a digital agency. You create a restaurant. You create an e-commerce store. What else? And then you could create another one of those. Again, you create those five pages. I mean, from ground, you know, from the bottom, from like zero, from like when you say just HTML. Once you create that, from just that little HTML tag to the end of all the pages, you're fine. You're ready to go. Of course, you're going to need a little bit practice in JavaScript, but that's the same thing that you're going to get on your own. You don't need somebody to come in and hold your hand and be like, hey, man, could you do a little slider? Like, you know what's on a page. You don't need somebody to tell you, hey, maybe your page needs a slider to practice JavaScript. No, you look at other, page, other pages. Sorry. You look at other pages like IGN.com. You go to YouTube.com. You go to uh, Worldstar. You go to... Uh, CNN.com. Look what they got on their pages. Go to freaking Gucci.com. Go to whatever favorite store that you want. Rebuild a website. The things that you see. If you see the page has a, a slider, find out how to do a slider. If you see the page has a drop down menu, find out how to do a drop down menu. Like, you don't need me to tell you what you need in a page at all. Use common sense. You don't need a boot camp to hold your hand and validate you. And this is something else that's crazy. There's people that are hitting me up and telling me, hey, I have a computer science degree, which is 
way better than having a, a bullshit certificate from a boot, uh, boot camp, right? To get hired, right? And they're like, I have a computer science degree and I want to go to a boot camp. What do you think? Does that make sense? That's like saying, hey, I studied to become a doctor, right? And then once you're a doctor, you're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to come back down and, and I'm going to be a, a doctor's assistant or some shit like that. I'm going to go to a little program to be like a nurse assistant or was it PA where they just teach you how to clean the little tools for the doctor. And it's like, you already have a doctor's degree. Like, why are you going down here? What is it that you're scared of? What is it that you're scared of to just start applying for a job? That's the problem. You know, that's the problem that I have with boot camps. And, you know, it's like, it's great for people who, in their mind, they feel like they're not going to do this by themselves. And they can't do it by themselves completely. And they just need somebody to hold their hand. Most of those people, they never really wanted to be a developer. They just wanted to show up and say, hey, I want to switch my career to something that's cool, that that's hip. But it's not because they wanted to become a developer. They say, hey, there's money here and there's jobs here. I'm going to switch up to being a developer. No, you have to have that in you and say, hey, I want to become a developer. Somebody who is not an artist, somebody who is not uh, uh, basically a painter, somebody who's not or uh, whatever that has to deal with creativity, right, cannot go to a school and say, hey, now I'm a painter, I'm an artist, I'm this and that. Because I went to this school. No, you have to bust your ass and, and do that every single day. You know how many people... I'm going to tell you this story. I had this ex-girlfriend, right? This ex-girlfriend went to school to become a graphic designer. The whole time that she was in school, she would basically ask me to help her with the homework, right? So she went to school, somehow graduated. She got a, like a B, right? Graduated with like a three point something. Great. What happens to her? Does she work as a graphic designer today? No. She don't. Because she didn't have the passion. She wasn't making designs on her own time. This is something that you have to do it on your own time. And take dedication and say, hey, this is my new career. It's like a craftsman. Somebody, a carpenter or architect. You can't just say, hey, I'm going to go to this program. And then I'm going to become this without diving into it. You know, it's not about paying the little $20,000 and you're going to get an education. It doesn't work like that. You have to go in there and put in hard work, right, into that boot camp. The people that graduate from a boot camp and are successful is because they put in that work. And then they get hired to a, a, a very large company, you know, like then you see them on Hack Reactor or Dev Mountain or whatever this other thing is like. Hey, we got this person hired to AT&T. We got this person hired to fucking Verizon. We got this person hired to Geico. We got this person hired to whatever. But what people don't understand is that the boot camp did not make those people what they are today. The, what made them fucking good developers that got them to that place was the passion. The fact that they went home and did projects aside from the boot camp. Not just like, hey, I showed up at the boot camp. I paid $20,000. I'm expecting $100,000 because I pay for Hack Reactor. Man, no, it doesn't work like that, guys. You got to put in that work. So if you're going to have to put into, you know, put in that work at a place, how about you put in that work in your house and basically save yourself that money and really freaking do something useful. And by the time you, you basically you finish with all your projects, your online projects and your side projects, you have a, a full portfolio of things that you have done. Not a GitHub page or not a freaking a GitHub account like a lot of bootcamp freaking people that are coming out. You know how many people have sent us, you know, resumes that just came out of a bootcamp and all they have is a freaking GitHub page? Many of them, because not even the instructors tell them like, hey, you got to have five different complete projects, projects that show that you could actually create websites for a company. Nobody does that. And I've seen it plenty of times. The people who are successful in boot camps 
is because they were already gonna get there anyways. They just needed this little validation in their back of like, yes, if you come here, you're gonna become a great developer. It's like I've seen people online who have great pages, great work, they already doing front end, the back end, and they're telling me, oh yeah, on September I'm starting, you know, a new boot camp. I'm going to um, what is it, Hack Reactor or App Academy, and I'm like, what? You already have the skills. Why are you going over there? You say, oh no, it's just, you know, I just want to get my certificate. What certificate? What? Why do you need a certificate? Because that certificate is not even worth anything. As soon as you leave the place, that certificate is not worth anything. Like, you could go anywhere and be like, hey, I got a certificate from Udemy. I got a certificate from Udacity. I got a certificate from Lynda.com. That's what boot camp actually stands for. It's just an independent school. It's just somebody who comes in and say, hey, I trained this person and I give them a certificate. I could print you a certificate and tell you, hey, you graduated from Joe's Academy. If that's what you need and a little pat on the back, I'll do that for you for free. You know what I mean? But it's up to you what you want to do. All right? Just that's my last message about boot camps. I'm not going to talk about this no more because whenever somebody asks me about boot camp, I'm going to bring them right back to this video. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.